Hi everyone, uh, welcome. This is Tamur. Welcome to my channel, the Cloud Security Guy, where we talk every week about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cybersecurity advice. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to pass the CCSP certification. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, I made a post talking about a post talking about cloud security certifications and the pros and cons of each. So I want to really talk about and focus about how to pass the CCSP certification this week because it's a very popular certification and people uh, ask a lot of times about this particular one. Uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel as it really helps it to grow and reach the maximum amount of people. Okay, so without further delay, uh, like I mentioned earlier, guys, before in my earlier post, like uh, cybersecurity professionals, you know, we have a love-hate relationship with certifications. Some people think they're useless and some think they know they're a mandatory part of. I personally believe the truth is in the middle. I think cloud security certifications can be very helpful in helping professionals get a foot in the door and like get you an entry position. And it gives you a very good baseline. But uh, what do you call, you should definitely build with experience and not just have theoretical knowledge on that. So a few weeks, uh, like I think one week back, I made a video on the CCSK certification, how to go about getting it. The, the CCSK and the CCSP, they are the two most popular vendor agnostic certifications. You know, they, they don't tie you to any particular vendor like AWS or Azure or Google Cloud. So this week we talked about the CCSK last week, but this time I want to talk about the CCSP. Uh, CCSP. The CCSP, it is a very, very popular certification. You know, I think it's the most popular currently. And the reason being it comes from IC Square, which is the same certification body who created the world famous CACSP examination, which is very well respected within the industry. So they really built upon top of that on the goodwill they have with regards to the CISSP. So that's the reason uh, the CCSP has become so popular. So just to like, before we talk about how to pass the CCSP examination, one thing you have to know guys, this is like a few points you need to know very, very well. First of all, the CCSP is not an entry level certification like the CCSK. Although you can attempt it if you want, if you're feeling confident, but it is made for information security leaders, cloud security managers, and experienced professionals who have a few years under their belt. It proves that you have an in-depth understanding of cloud security and how to secure applications on it. So, and unlike the CCSK, it has an experience requirement of five years, okay? And out of which three must be in information security and one in the six domains, which we'll talk about the syllabus. So if you're a junior engineer new to the cloud, then I would recommend going for the CCSK examination instead, okay? So, like I said, you must have five years of cumulative paid work experience in, in, in information technology out of which three must be in like whatever one of the six domains okay okay so one of the if you don't have it you can still pass but you'll become an associate of ic and then after you have the what do you call you've gotten the experience you can become it but uh, one thing very important to note guys if you are already passed the ccsk cert that can be substituted for one year of experience and if you pass the cissp then you automatically meet the experience requirements if you're certified as a cissp so that's a really good thing so if you have invested time and effort in getting the CCSK, getting the CISSP, then that will really pay you off and it will really help you out. So that's a really good thing which they have. Okay. So before we move ahead, guys, like we're talking about the CCSP, uh, let's talk about the domains. They are around six domains, as you can see, and you need to know them inside out. There is no magic bullet. You need to need know these, these domains. Okay. And you need to know the concepts. The, the first step will be, of course, to download the body of knowledge. The same one, there's a guide to the CCSP, which you can download. And just to be very, uh, keep things in mind, guys, by August, 2022, the exam outline will change. Okay, some of the weightage of the domains will be revised. So if your exam date is after, if you plan to give after August, 2022, just read the facts which are there. They're gonna change some of the weightage, some of the points, but I'm assuming you're giving the exam right now. So I'm, I'm using it uh, based on what we have today. But once it changes, I'm gonna make another video about it. But let's take a look at the domains one by one. Like, like I said, the CCSP is quite in depth. It's not like an entry level cert. So it goes into quite a lot of detail. The CISSP examination is it's like a lot of people say it's like one inch deep and one mile wide because it covers everything. The CCSP is quite in detail and it goes into a lot of depth into these six domains. So the first domain is the cloud concepts, architecture and design. You need to know the basic concepts of the cloud. Okay, what is the, what is the cloud? Like if you were to define the cloud, what are the unique characteristics? You know, it's like on-demand, self-service, multi-tenant, elasticity. And you could need to know the different models 
like software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. What are the types of public private cloud, how they differ? Uh, what are the shared responsibility model, how it works, the building blocks of the cloud, you know, virtualization, hypervisor. You need to have a very strong foundation of the cloud, guys, because without this, everything else that comes, if you don't have a good foundation, you everything else that comes is going to be difficult. Okay. Apart from that, next one, and this is the one way to focus, which I should focus the most, which is the cloud data security. Basically, here we're going to talk about the cloud data lifecycle. Cloud, once you put data in the cloud, how it like gets generated, how it gets masked, how it gets destroyed. You know to know the need to know these things. What is structured, unstructured data on the cloud? Information rights management, like data classification. How to protect data, like tokenization. You have encryption. You have hashing. Focus the most on this particular domain because this is the one which is covered the most in the examination. Okay. Apart from that, the next one is the cloud platform and infrastructure security. Here we're going to talk about the logical and the physical security of the cloud. You know, data centers, how you secure the cloud, how you put in the controls. How you partition the data what's compartmentalization you analyze and do cloud security risk assessments what is virtualization security you know things like container security all these things come in here and cloud application security is the next domain here we're going to talk about more about how you develop applications on the cloud you know how it's not the same as on-prem and how you validate like this software if you've developed on the cloud is secure things like apis same like supply chain security uh, we're going to talk about concepts such as uh, cloud access security, cloud uh, security access brokers. You know, uh, I made a video on that. I'm going to link that so you can refer to that also. But basically, this is covering end to end how applications are deployed in the cloud. And OK, apart from that, we have cloud security operations. So here we are going to talk about how the cloud runs. You know, you you know, build something on the cloud. You can operate it. You're going to manage it. How are you going to secure it? it? It has a lot of topics. It's like a very broad domain personally. You, they want to know how you're going to baseline security on the cloud. You know, if you have an operating system, uh, you, you, how do you conduct forensics on the cloud? If you have a security operation center in the SIEM on the cloud, how is it going to operate? So you need to know these topics. A lot of those things you can actually, if you have on-prem knowledge, that, that can really benefit here. Okay. And the last one, which is like, personally, a lot of people really find this boring, but this is a very important topic, which is the legal risk and compliance. Basically, the legal requirements and risk on the cloud. You know, you need to know privacy requirements such as the GDPR, ISO 27018, standards such as PCI DSS and HIPAA, and how they get ported onto the cloud. I made a video on PCI DSS on the cloud. I can link that so you can actually benefit how PCI DSS on the cloud differs. Audits on the cloud such as ISA, SOC Type 2. And lastly, understand outsourcing. You know, if you're because in the cloud, you're sharing responsibility, right? The cloud vendor is doing a lot of stuff. How do you validate? He is actually doing it. How do you get assurance that those, that uh, information is secure? Okay, so that covers the domains, guys. Okay, once you start preparing, what to do? I would recommend buying the official guide for the CCSP. Go through it religiously and make notes of the critical points to understand. So unlike the CISSP, like I mentioned, which is very broad, no? so this is it's focused on specific topics and it goes into details. It, it goes into a, quite a lot of depth. I'm recommending this guide, but you can look at other, other alternatives. But just remember... Uh, there is no magic book for the club for the CCSP that will make you pass it. It's all about studying and like know the guide inside out, uh, make notes for how to pass the CCSP, like what are the key points you need to note. Just make sure you go, you do that. But the most important thing, which is the next one, guys, which is practicing. You can do training if you want. There are a lot of good trainings available on Udemy and even free ones on YouTube. But you, you can potentially skip that. But this step you cannot skip if you want to pass. If you want to pass the CCSP exam, and if you ask me what is the most important thing for how to pass the CCSP, I would say this one. You need to practice, okay? This is practice like crazy. Most of the information you get from the study guide, you will forget unless you actually do these practice exams. The official guide comes with sample questions, but you should. I would definitely recommend investing in more practice questions. That will really build up your uh, confidence. You have sites like Pluralsight, Vizlabs. Give yourself at least a month of dedicated practice on these exams. IST2 also had, they have their own electronic flash, flashcards for CCSP, which you can get for free on their website. So definitely check that out. But this is the step I want you to focus on the most. And lastly, uh, do not forget the golden rule, which is now I hope you get a better idea. You understand how the CCSP is structured, what are the topics, and they are a good way. CCSP is an excellent certification. It will really give your career a boost. But remember, this is not the end goal. I mean, certification will get your foot in the door but the cloud, like I said earlier, also, it is an extremely challenging field. 
you will not go far without hands-on experience. So do like get a free AWS tier account on Azure or a GCP and play around with the services, understand how they are working. And that will really help to boost your career on the cloud. Okay, lastly, guys, please do, if you found this video to be useful, uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel and comment. That will really help the channel to grow and really spread it to a, a large amount of people. Okay, guys, I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.